Um, so this is like a big day. You have yes, stuff in the Country Music Hall of Fame, Brett Eldridge. I do. What, and I, what I is just, that moment like? I walked over here from there yeah. to the, from the exhibit, and I was, I'm blown away, man. I, 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 I was telling somebody a little bit ago, I literally walked through here as just a fan on the tour. I mean, like, I can't tell you how many times I went to look at the Elvis car in there and, like, you know. <laughs> the one that has the you know, TV Hank in Jr.'s it? Hank Jr.'s yeah. boots and, like, all these cra- you know, all these th- pieces I remember. And I, maybe it'll be a piece that somebody else remembers. And there's, like, several pieces of, of my history in there already. So that's, that, amazing. that's cool. So what's the family think about it? I, I hope they love it. They're here somewhere. So I was looking for them. I, I, I think they're about to see it right now. So, But I know my mom called me today. She's like, should I dress up for this? This is kind of a big deal. Like, what do I do? I was like, wear whatever you want, Mom. Just like, just just go and have fun and check out the exhibit. And, See, uh, so that's so cute. So tell me what's in the exhibit. The, uh, I've got my tux that I wore on the CMA Awards that nice. I won the, the year I won. Mm-hmm. Um, New Artist of the Year, um, which was like my favorite tux ever. It looked uh, great. Yeah, it was a cool tux. And I remember was, that one. And I was that was like my first legit like really nice tux you know like i, I feel like the, the last time i owned a tux maybe i owned one in college but other than that it was like prom in high school i love to wear suits i got tons of suits by that right. point but but uh a tux is like the only wear that every once in a while right. that was an occasion to wear it and then it happened to win it and then all of a sudden they asked can we take it and put it in the exhibit and i was like uh, absolutely <laughs> yeah it's like I'll, I'll that's i don't want it to sit in my closet i want it to sit at the country music hall of fame all absolutely. day you can take it absolutely you know, so who are you next to i am next to ronnie dunn dude which is so cool that's I, pretty I didn't cool. know they were going to do that i was i got kind of emotional when i looked at it because it's it's so surreal because uh he's one of the main reasons i'm in country music so the way they tied it and they talk about that in the in the exhibit well you talk is about that, it tell me tell okay. me the story uh i used to um my best friend chip uh, in high school and several of my friends we would we would put the Brooks and Dunn greatest hit CD in, in the boat that okay. I my family owned called Bessie oh Bessie we named her Bessie because okay. I don't really know why but it was like kind of that name where it's like kind of a trusty boat that always ends up firing up even though it's kind of old and not great <laughs> right okay and so we put in a car stereo in the boat mm-hmm. and we put in Brooks and Dunn and we, wore, we, we had to go buy that CD like five different times because we'd always wear it out or we'd We'd, we'd break it or we would spill on it or something. Right. And so that was like a huge part of my life. And that was a huge part of my memories and why I write songs and why I'm inspired to be a country singer. And and now I'm so cool. right next to Ronnie Dunn and I've got to sing with him on stage before and I've got to now become a friend of his and all that stuff. Then all of a sudden being next to him in, in the Country Music Hall of Fame and, and an exhibit is quite, quite surreal. It's pretty cool.